As you recall back in the Access Level 1 training video, we learned how to create our tables, create the fields therein, and assign them a data type. Like the data type for this field is the auto number, and the rest of these are text fields where I can type in text or a combination of text and numbers. In any case, I want to introduce you to another data type field. It's called the attachment field where, just like it sounds, it allows you to attach like documents, zip files, and most images too, to your records here. And it will automatically compress those images and files if they aren't already. So to go ahead and add an attachment field, let's right click the tab here, go to the design view, and let's type in, this can be our attachment. Hit the tab key, click on the data type drop down arrow, and it's going to be an attachment field, attachment, attachment. In any case, maybe this is supposed to be for reports only, reports in our clients. So instead of saying attachment for the field name, which is what I like, for the front end user, come down here in the corresponding field properties, you can say it's for reports or the report field that they can attach reports to. Let's go ahead and click on the view button. Be sure to save your table. Then it switches over. You can see right there the report field. And it's an attachment field indicated by the little paper clip. And you can see zeros on all the records here because we haven't attached anything to any of the records yet. We just added the field. So to attach items to this record, the first one here, just go ahead and double click on it. It opens up, says, okay, what do you want to add? Let's click add. And let me go to the exercises folder, double click, and let's add an image, double click there. We can add, let's say, a report that goes with that image. Click add, and then double click on that. Well, they're two separate things, but you get the idea. You can add images, you can add documents, reports, click OK. And then it updates and it says, okay, we got two attachments here. Well, you need to save the record. You can see that it's in write mode with that pencil. Go ahead and click in the next record, it saves it. To view them, go ahead and double click. It opens up the window. And then I can go ahead and select it, click open, or better yet, just double click. It opens up the image in the photo viewer program, close out, and it'll open up the document in Microsoft Word here. That is, if you have Microsoft Word installed on your computer. Go ahead and close out. And then to remove them, go ahead and select it, click remove. You can also, if this database is on the server and you want to go ahead and take one of the reports and save it to your computer, select it, click save as, and then navigate over the navigation pane here to your desktop, click Save. Okay. Let me click Cancel. I want to show you what it looks like when you have a form based upon this table that has an attachment field. Let me go ahead and uh, close out. Select the Customers table because I want to base my report upon that table that has the attachment field. Come up here, click on the Create tab, go to the Forms group, and let's go ahead and just click on the Form button, do a quick one here. And then right click, go to the Form view, and there it is. There's the first attachment in this record. How do I get to the second attachment? Well, one of two ways. You can either select the field and then you get this little uh, navigation bar that you can go forward to see the attachment there, go backwards to see the previous attachment, or go ahead and click on this to add the attachment. Okay. You can also, when in doubt, right click and you get the forward and you can right click and go back and you can go ahead and right click and manage the attachments. You get the idea. Okay. And then click cancel. You can even double click on it. It brings it up as well. Thanks for watching. Hey, as a quick reminder, if you like my video, please give it a thumbs up. You can also click on me and subscribe to my channel to get notified of the latest videos. And for great specials on my products, please see the description below this video.